Hey guys, good morning. It's been a little while since I've uploaded a video, but today my grandma is in fact here visiting from Sardinia and uh, of course we have to, you know, show her around the country a little bit and spend some time with her. So my mom organized a trip to Rincon de la Vieja, more specifically the Buena Vista Lodge. You know, they offer a bunch of different activities, horseback riding, mud baths, hot springs, canopy tours, etc, etc. There's a, also a 420 meter long water slide. Amazingly fun. We're going to Rincon de la Vieja. Let's go. Hey Nana, okay. say hi. Hi. No, I'm looking better. Oh, yes, you no, are. Not too much. Ready to go? So. Okay, so we're a few minutes away from our destination and we just had to pull over to enjoy this view. Really cool. <laughs> okay, so we made it to the Buena Vista Lodge. Now, it used to be called Buena Vista Lodge. I believe now it is called Buena Vista del Rincón. So, if I made that mistake, excuse me. Uh, it says here on their website, Buena Vista del Rincón, the essence of Costa Rica in one place, nature, culture, adventure, wellness, and sustainability. Embark on an adventure of discovery in Costa Rica. Discover its natural and cultural wealth through authentic experiences in Rincón de la Vieja. Our hotel is a destination. So, right now what we're gonna go do, go to the reception and we're gonna see what is on the itinerary for today. And I will let you know and we're gonna have a good time. Also, in case you haven't gathered it so far, we are on the slopes of the Rincón de la Vieja volcano. Now, the Rincón de la Vieja volcano is in fact an active volcano which earlier this year, 2021, erupted and spewed a two kilometer high ash cloud up into the atmosphere. So let's hope that doesn't happen today. You know, hope it doesn't pull a Yellowstone on us. Although that would probably make for a pretty cool YouTube video. Anyway, let's see what's on the uh, menu for today. Eco Adventure Center Reception, Las Pavas Zipline, The Jungle Water Slide, that one's cool. Los Higuerones Hanging Bridges, Pacaya Hot Springs and Spa. Got a restaurant, also oh, yeah, traditional cuisine. Gourmet Coffee Shop, Flor Blanca Natural Cosmetics. Check it out. Itinerary is set. First thing we're doing is a canopy tour. So, are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> Excited? We have to leave our bags in the car, he said. You can take your cell phone, uh, change your shoes, and let's go. All right, so yeah, update. Adriana and I are doing the canopy tour, and my mom, my grandma, and the kids are gonna do a cultural tour, which includes like, it's like a coffee tour and a tour where they show indigenous products being made, mainly made out of maize. And you can taste some of those, you know, obviously, preparations and delicacies that are native to this area, this very beautiful area we find ourselves in. Man, I love it up here. It's uh, super fresh, which is a nice change of pace from the just hot and sweltering, you know, beach towns of Guanacaste. Obviously us being in Guanacaste, but we're 750 meters above sea level and you can notice it. It's, a, it's really nice up here. Really nice and cool. So let's go canopy. All right, we got all geared up back there. Probably look ridiculous. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have a little brief, safety briefing. Super excited. Este plástico que va a estar siempre a la llegada del cable. Y al final presiona que va. Woohoo! <laughs> 
First two, <laughs> I don't know if you can see on my face, but that was high. This one has, oh, check it out, it says it right here, 70 meters, 230 feet, distance of 610 feet, and yeah, that's a long ways down. It's kind of shitting my pants, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> This is uh, the longest line in the whole thing, and it's 452 meters long, which is a shitload because that's like half a kilometer. elegante <laughs> oh. increíble increíble otra vez otra vez otra vez <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, una morpha soon. Blue morpha. Like Seems to be a recurring theme in my videos. <laughs> and we're done. That took all of, what, 40 minutes or something? And the guides, Mario and Jeronimo, were awesome. Gonna go run over to the car real quick. Make sure I can give them a, a little tip because, you know, these guys obviously <coughs> rely on tips many uh, more often than not to make a living and they took really good care of us. It was fun, good vibes, happy to be alive, and I need a beer. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's, uh, I think lunch is coming up too. Yeah. A beer? Oh my God. You have a headache? You think a beer's gonna help you? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so good news is, got the tip all figured out. Now we're gonna go to the water slide, which is really the thing that I've been looking forward to this entire time, mainly. Uh, little sister wants to go horseback riding, even though she has horses at home. So she's being difficult, but I'm gonna convince her we're doing the water slide because it's fing awesome. Let's go. Okay, great success. So I convinced my little sister we're doing the water slide and it is 12 o'clock so we gotta hurry up because we definitely wanna catch lunch, which I've done before here. It's really good lunch and the water, the cold water makes you more hungry so you definitely have to do that before lunch is my personal recommendation. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Let's go. If you've been following this channel for any length of time at all, you know that this GoPro has very bad luck with water. So we'll see how this experience goes. Oh, cool, an ox. So yeah, wish me luck with the uh, water activity. That's your protection, baby. <laughs> but you put it on a, a, up there. You don't have to walk around with it. Uh, it's basically a loincloth, that is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's very cold water, baby. You look beautiful, by the way. It's hot, okay. So we're doing the same hike that you already saw earlier, uh, up towards the canopy. So we can skip that part. And I'll see you at the top. <laughs> <laughs> that never gets old seeing people take off for the first time. And I should film. No, yeah, okay, no, uh no, I'll film you. I'll film you first, I'll film myself. Did I show us? <laughs> ah, full, full.
están detrás tuyo. That was obviously very intense, very fun. We're gonna eat some food now. Super excited about that. I'm pretty sure we're gonna pass the f out afterwards because it's uh, we're pretty beat. Let's check this out. That food looks amazing. Check it out. You have green salad, uh, cabbage salad, carrot salad. This looks like some sort of ceviche, most likely like a plantain ceviche, I'm guessing. White rice, black beans, vegetables, stewed vegetables. This looks like pork, uh, some sort of beef and sauce, and risotto? Chicken risotto? Possibly. Plantains, cheese, little uh, vinegar, vinegar onions, hot sauce. What more, what more do you want? Muchísimas gracias, muy amable. And as an appetizer, some soup. Check it out. This is a uh, rice water and pineapple and cinnamon juice. It is spectacular. Really good soup. Do you think I got enough food, guys? I had to try a little bit of everything. I got the beans, the rice. This is actually a uh, yuca ceviche. This is chicken with a house tomato sauce, vegetables with cheese, beef and uh, sauce, and the, uh, what do you call this, coleslaw, and arroz de maíz, which is basically, well, it's, it's corn. Corn, it's corn. <laughs> it's good stuff. Anyway, let's dig in. All right, so I wasn't filming, but I had the arroz de maíz. Basically, the closest thing that I could uh, compare it to is like a risotto, a chicken risotto, and it, it was amazing. Everything's great, so yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> uh -huh. The good news is you can get as many times as you want. You just go to town here. I'm happy. No words. No words to describe that lunch. Man, I was so full. I'm so full right now. Check this out. But I would st I would just keep eating because it's so good. Anyway, right now, we got to try to figure out how to get down to the hot springs. I remember years ago, I believe we used to take a tractor, like one of those, to go down there. I don't know if we can just drive our own car or if I don't know what the deal is, so we gotta go figure that out. But yeah, next stop is Hot Springs. So that right there is the mighty Rincón de la Vieja Volcano. 1,916 meters at its highest point. It's a bad mother uh, Anyway, yeah. Must have been, you imagine seeing like the eruption happened a few months ago, two kilometers up into the sky. The ash, I mean, I in my pants. 
be the second time today I fit my pants because the fucking canopy tour was super high. And yeah, not a fan of heights, but it was it was great. You just feel really small when you're up there. Here comes our tractor. <laughs> awesome. Super cool. Yeah, going down to the hot springs. Check out these facilities. Super nice. Extra clean. Bunch of bathrooms. You can never have too many bathrooms, I feel, especially, um, you know, in third world countries. <laughs> and I'm kidding. No, uh, man, this place is really, really well done. We're gonna go to the coolest hot springs. That is the one that my little brother suggested we go to. Not a bad spot to hang out. Now, as nice as this place is and everything, I do remember reading a few months back that there were instances of Nigleria fowleri infection in visitors to the Arenal Hot Springs. Disclaimer, not these hot springs, but the ones in the Arenal uh, area, obviously Arenal being the other volcano. Um, now that being said, this is a brain-eating amoeba that thrives in freshwater, warm freshwater environments and uh, it's not really a problem. You know, I think out of uh, the millions and billions of people that take, you know, swims every year in lakes and whatnot, uh, this is not a problem. However, uh, the few infections that do occur yearly are almost all 100% fatal. It is, an, it is an amoeba that basically, if you get some water up your nose, this amoeba travels along the nerves in your nose to the brain, where it will then proceed to devouring your brain, which is why they call it the brain-eating amoeba, which is not something that I'm looking forward to getting. So I might be the person wearing a mask inside of the hot springs. This is what my life has come to. <laughs> Hola, amor. <laughs> All right, let's try out these hot springs. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is quite the experience. It's very relaxing. I was already falling asleep after lunch, but uh, Man, this just might knock me out. Amazing. 
Well, that was nice and all, but I'm kind of looking for something a little more warm. It's not quite warm enough for my taste. Is that one hotter? Is that one up there hotter? Okay, so that concludes our time at the hot springs. We also went in the sauna, which is, well, it's back there. I'll show you in a second. But uh, yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and take a car back up to, you know, the main, uh, the main lodge and then we're gonna head back home. That's the sauna. Sit. You have to give a half hour to one hour warning if you wanna get back to the uh, you know main lodge up there but we gave a short notice and so they organized this pickup for us. Guys, overall, this was an amazing experience. I recommend it, 10 out of 10 for sure. It was great, the food was great, the service was exceptional, everyone's super friendly, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. So I uh, hope you liked the video, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time, peace. Okay, so I lied. It wasn't the end of the video because we can't pass up the opportunity to take a look from the Bar El Mirador. Hey there. And here we are. Back there, in the distance, you can see the Catalina Islands. That's where a lot of the diving excursions go when you leave uh, from Tamarindo, Flamingo, that whole area. So you can see, I mean, a lot of the northern Pacific coast over here. This whole area is pretty cool.